Hey guys, today we'll be checking Figma's latest update, which is this new feature called multi-editing. It's really a very powerful tool that you can use at your advantage to basically 2x your working speed. So stay tuned, download the working file and follow along. See you there. Okay guys, so to review this tool, we will be going over Figma's playground file. I'm going to link that in the description so you also will be able to follow along. Um, really try to pay attention and implement this in your workflow because it's going to save you a lot of time. So first of all, the purpose of this tool is to select and edit multiple objects across frames and component sets at once. So how this tool works is Figma identifies matching objects across frames or component sets. When you grab an object and use this functionality, it's going to identify matching objects on other frames and component sets. And you're going to be able to resize, align, change properties of those objects simultaneously. You also will be able to edit things like text again when they're matching when the object is matching and the way figma recognizes is a matching object is because on our left side layers panel you will be uh, those objects should be named the same so the key aspect is to have that object named the same across your different frames or component sets you are now also able to edit multiple components on a component set or grab things from your assets panel and drag them into one of those and if you're multi-editing it will add them to all your component sets so some different scenarios in which you will benefit from using this feature are things like selecting matching objects across different frames and easily edit their properties, not having to go one by one. You'll be able to edit things like text placement, footers, logos, you can resize them, change their angles, change their properties and all sort of stuff at the same time. And when you're using smart animating prototyping, you will now be able to easily change common properties across repeating elements. Okay, so to access this feature, you're first gonna select the element you want to multi-edit. And now we have two different ways to activate it. The first one is the keyboard shortcut Control alt a that you will see that selects all the matching elements. Or you can also use this new icon in the top menu, which selects the matching layer. You see, if I click that, it's gonna select all the matching elements. This not only works with one single element, but if I select, for example, the triangle and the square holding shift, and then click on that button, it's gonna also select the triangle and the rectangle in all my frames. Remember, one of the key elements for Figma to recognize them as matching objects is the naming of the layers. So you see, if I select this shape, it's gonna be named triangle on my layers, and if I go to other matching one is gonna be also named triangles okay so let me select all my matching triangles and i'm gonna show you some of the properties i can edit i can do things like rotating scaling and sh changing the shapes color and you're gonna see that the the and you're gonna see the things like rotating what this used to do before this feature is it, it was gonna find a common center across all the elements and rotate all the shapes based on that common center but but now you can rotate them individually based on their own center and you're gonna see the same principle applies to scaling if i scale one of the shapes using the multi-edit feature they're all gonna scale from their center this feature will also allow you to identify what are the matching objects to the one you have selected in other frames or component sets. So for example, if I have this rectangle selected and I hold shift, you're gonna see all the matching first rectangles in the other frames highlighted. So I'm holding shift, I'm gonna let it go, just disappears. It also works for multiple elements. So if I have the first and the second rectangle selected, it's gonna highlight those first and second rectangles for all my frames. So it allows you to preview what elements are going to be selected. So for example, I want to select this first and the third rectangle. I'm going to select them holding shift and with those two elements selected and again holding shift, I'm going to preview which matching elements will be selected. And if those match my expectations, I'm going to click on the select matching layers or use the keyboard shortcut Control Alt A and it's going to select the matching elements for me. The next functionality of multi-editing is alignment. So in this case, I'm going to pick these two shapes and use my select matching layers feature so once I have all my matching layers selected, I have two options for my alignment. Either making it based on a key element. So if I just use the regular alignment, for example, the left, it's going to throw all my shapes to the farthest left element I have. Or you have the second option by holding shift, you're going to see a frame appears around the alignment icons. And it means it's going to align all the elements relative to their own frame. So if I 
hold shift and again click that left alignment you're gonna see it keeps all the shapes grouped and they align relative to their own frame okay for this example i'm gonna again select the matching elements for this blue cross you're gonna see in this case their initial position is shifted so they're not starting from the same position but it will apply the transformation relative to the initial position so if i rotate those it's gonna start from wherever the starting point of the shape is but apply the same rotation to all of them and the same principle is applied to scaling if i select all these red shapes which have which will have different sizes and i try to resize them they will all scale relative to their initial size so if you want to override them having different starting positions for example for the angle i'm gonna again select all the blue crosses and i can override all those different angles by just typing in for example 45 degrees they will all match those 45 degrees but if i want to edit that through the design panel but i want to keep all the different initial positions i can go and type next to the mixed plus 45 and it's gonna edit them relative to their initial position and the same applies for scale or moving the elements around another thing you're gonna be able to do with this multi-editing feature is to drag elements in or out of nested elements a nested element is simply some object that is inside of another object for this example i'm gonna select these three blue rectangles click my shortcut Control shift a and that's gonna select all the matching layers if you watch closely the left layers panel you're gonna see i have each each of these each of these frames has this other frame inside it called nested frame but all of those all of those rectangles in all of the frames are outside of that but if i have all of those selected with my multi-edit feature and i drag the first one you're gonna see all of them are now nested inside of their own respective nested frames and you can check that on the layers panel again you can see they're now inside of that nested frame layer and again if i want to drag them out of the nested frame i just have to drag one of them and now all the layers will be rearranged respectively the next thing you can do is multi-edit copy and paste in this case these three shapes are not matching elements so i'm gonna manually select the three of them i'm gonna copy those and as they are three shapes and now i'm gonna select three frames and i paste that you're gonna see it distributes those three shapes across those three frames the key thing in here is having a matching number of things you copy and a matching number of places you're gonna paste in figma also annotates in here that actions like copying from three frames pasting into one or copying from two and pasting into four will provide non-destructive results i'm actually not sure what that means so let's go back and try that so let's do the first example which is copying from three frames and pasting into one so let's delete these two and copy this and try to paste it in here okay so what it does is just pasting all of the elements inside one single frame so i guess what the non-destructive result uh, means is it's gonna figure a way to place all the things you copied into all the available pasting space without deleting any of them so our next functionality is multi-editing text so i'm gonna select the first one Control shift a or the top icon it's gonna select all my matching layers and then i press enter and it's gonna allow me to edit all those texts simultaneously and you can also edit text properties like character size or its style figma notes in here that multi-editing text will override basic text objects formatting across frames so do keep that in mind you can also combine multi-editing with auto layout for things like moving objects around okay so what i'm gonna do is select this red rectangle then multi-select the matching layers with my top icon and you're gonna see it selects all my red rectangles that match the naming of that first one the first thing you're gonna notice is all of these are inside auto layout frames but they're all different the first one is an horizontal auto layout the second one is set to wrap and the third one is a vertical layout but a cool thing i can do is if i press my arrow keys it's gonna move the position of my shape regardless of the direction of the auto layout i'm tapping off the right and left arrow keys and you're gonna see in the first one it, it goes left to right in the second one it, it switches from first to second to third to fourth position and in the last one it changes vertically so it adapts regardless if the matching elements are on different auto layout composition the next feature is multi-editing variants in this case i'm going to select the top level component and then pressing q or using this first icon on my top menu 
It's gonna allow me to multi-edit all the variants inside that top level component. And it's gonna allow me to do things like adding assets to all of them at the same time. So I'm gonna go to my assets panel and I'm gonna drag this arrow into one of them. And you're gonna see it applies them to all the variants at the same time. Okay, the next cool thing this is gonna allow you to do is componentize elements that you were using across designs, but you didn't turn into elements from the beginning. So to show you a quick example, let's say this hourglass thingy is a repeated element across your screens, frames, or designs that you that you should have turned into a component from the beginning, but you didn't. I'm gonna pick the first one, then multi-select the matching layers with the top icon. And with all your matching elements selected, you can click on the create component icon or on the shortcut control alt K. And that's gonna do two things. The first is create a new shape, which is the actual original component. And the next thing is gonna grab all those matching elements and make them instances of that base component and obviously it will match the properties to the original one okay and for the final portion of this figma playground file it proposes some common use cases and it gives you these small challenges to kind of put your new skills into practice so let's go through those okay for this first one we're gonna multi-edit for design mockups the first task is to multi-edit the header and make the logo bigger so for that i'm just gonna directly select the logo then ctrl shift a is gonna select the next one and you, we just gotta make it a bit bigger. So I'm gonna grab this one, hold shift, alt. So it scales from the center and that's it. We made both of them a bit bigger at the same time. The next thing is to increase the height of the header or footer and presenter to select the child objects and align them vertically using the shift key. Okay, so I'm gonna do that for the, I'm gonna do that for the footer. I'm gonna select the first one, control shift A. That selects the next one for me. I'm gonna make that a bit bigger. Press enter to select the child object. So I will press enter and that selects the child objects for me. Now I'm gonna hold shift. So this frame appears around my align icons, which means they're gonna align to their own respective frame. And that's it. Next, we gotta change any text properties to see if it reflects on both mockups. So let's change, for example, this back text. I'm gonna select that one, Control Shift A, it selects the next one. I'm gonna tap enter and I'm gonna change back for cart. It works perfectly and finally i gotta rearrange the categories within their auto layout frames so i'm gonna pick for example the ceiling and led Control shift a it picks ceiling and led for the next one uh, and i'm gonna move them around and yeah it's super easy it works perfectly next we will not multi-edit for presentation slides our first task is to use multi-edit to change any of the text objects across all the slides so let's say i'm gonna change this one, Ctrl Shift A, it selects all of the slide titles for me. Press Enter to edit the text at the same time on all of them. And I'm gonna change this, subscribe to Santi. Okay, next we gotta select the slide footer object and the logo. I'm gonna shift to select both of them, then Ctrl Shift A to select all of them and I'm gonna turn them into individual auto layout frames. So shift A to wrap them all in individual auto layout frames. And I can even go an extra step further, which is selecting one of the logos, Control shift A, it selects all of them and I can move them. Now that they're all in auto layout frames, I can easily change their position at the same time. Multi-edit for smart anime prototypes. Select the first frame and press shift space bar to preview the animation, let's check that out. Now select one of the pendant lights and use multi-edit to scale them both up. So I'm gonna select this one, shift A, and I'm gonna move that up a bit, say it there. Oh, cool. Our next task is to multi-edit another pendant light to change its position, add a blend mode, or try something else creative. Let's try to add that blend mode. Um, let's pick this one and let's do, Sublight one, I guess. And finally, use the multi edit to change the blob sizes, blurs, or colors. Let's pick this green one, use the top icon to select the other ones, and change that to maybe this other shade of blue. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. Uh, let's also, so I'm gonna tap on Ctrl C to uh, reselect them because I clicked away. I'm gonna also change the size and maybe we can change the rotation a bit and the scale of it 
yeah guys so my feeling with this is if you learn how to use it intuitively and naturally with your with your day-to-day -day workflow it's gonna really speed up your working process okay next we're using multi-edit for design systems our first task is to multi-edit the titles of the card component variants testing how very long text looks across all the variants okay so basically using changing this text for a pretty long one okay so the first thing we gotta do is click on the top level component so basically on the outside frame of the variants uh next click on this first multi-edit variants icon or press q and we're gonna increase the character count of this title so i'm gonna directly select that and okay so it automatically selects the other ones press enter and just randomly type anything kind of long okay i think it works pretty great like i think it's, it's it's meant to be a title so it's not supposed to have like a huge character count i think it, it works pretty good uh with a pretty long title so yeah i think it works good okay let's let's revert that back to the original title our next task is to copy and paste this asset inside all of them so i'm gonna copy that add to cart cta then i will click on the top level component press q to edit at the same time go to this first one and paste that simply by typing ctrl v and pastes that across all the different elements regardless of the auto layout they have and our final task is to select the prices and rename them with command r or ctrl r command on windows so i'm gonna go to one of them because i'm already on the multi-editing mode it just automatically selects all of them and my task is to rename this layer's name i'm gonna tap ctrl r in my case because i'm working on a windows and i'm gonna change the name from 199 dollars to simply price and you're gonna see it renames my layer to price great and for our final challenge we're gonna multi-edit for component creation so this is again the case where you kind of worked through some designs with the repeating elements but without turning them into components and now you're gonna kind of reverse that by grabbing one of those and creating a base component and then as that then associates all of your matching elements to it so i'm gonna select the results layer Control shift a i'm gonna select all the matching ones and now you can either you can either tap Control alt k or simply click on this top icon and you're gonna see it creates a new component which is actually the original component and then all your matching elements are instances of that so if i make any type of edit to this it's gonna repeat across all of them and finally try the same thing with the footer layer so let's do that Control shift a selects all the elements turn that create a component for that let's move it in here and this in this case change color to the light background okay guys and that's it we went through the tool um i'm gonna repeat myself because i think this is really important i think the way you can actually like 2x your working speed with this is making it a natural part and an intuitive part of your working process so really get some practice with this remember i'm gonna link the actual figma playground file in the description uh go through it yourself you can obviously uh, follow the video along but try to do it yourself so you kind of start getting this natural uh intuition uh on when you can use this the best uh and that's it if you got some value out of out of this please leave a like if you want to keep up with the channel please subscribe to it i'm really thankful for all of your support guys and for that i'm gonna keep posting uh, maybe not with the frequency i would like to but you can count that i will keep the videos coming so stay tuned to that if you have something on mind um, videos you will want to see in the channel please let me know because i really do this for you guys and if you have something that you want to go through some new tutorials you kind of want me to do just let me know and i will make sure to put that on the queue uh, that's it guys have a nice day really thanks again for all your support and see you on the next one